Hey Cancer, welcome back guys. I hope you all are doing well today. This is going to be for anybody with Cancer placements in their chart. Just make sure you guys flip and switch the roles and just take what resonates. Leave what doesn't fit for your situation. Um, please be aware that there could be scammers down below in the comment section. People pretending to be me. So if the name is not highlighted in gray, it's not your client right to your comment. <laughs> and if there are fake pages reaching out to you on other social media platforms, it is also obviously not me. My social media handles are going to be down below in the description box. Okay, my Patreon link is also going to be then down there if you guys want to join Patreon. I will have a twin flame section. Um, if you have a twin flame union, there's going to be a lot of nice messages coming out there on that tier. And I also have a um section that's you know just about readings that I'm not you know posting on YouTube. All of them will be readings that I won't be posting on here. So if you want exclusive content, then you can join the, my Patreon. Okay, um, join the community. Thank you guys for your love and support. So let's see. What's going on for Cancer, Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors, Ascended Masters? Please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm the collective and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones return it back to the sender. Okay, let's see. What's going on for Cancer, Spirit? So we have defensive, easily triggered, quick to repeat, I mean, quick to react, ready to pop off, not backing down. And then we have told you so, <laughs> forewarned, proven wrong, taken by surprise and perspective shifts. Okay, yeah. A lot of things are coming out right now. Yeah, abundance. It says fulfilling endeavors, receiving more than enough, needs being met. So a lot of things are coming to light here. All right, you could have told someone something. You forewarned them about something here. And um, now somebody here could be trying to defend themselves or this is you. Maybe somebody told you something. Maybe you didn't listen at first. I don't know. But I feel like somebody here told someone something and the truth is coming out. Yeah, Page of Swords. Okay. So now someone is looking at you differently, possibly, Cancer. Somebody's behavior is... um. Somebody's awakening to someone's like behavior or the way that they act when they don't get what they want or something like that. Yeah, eight of swords. Somebody could have a mental disorder. All right, something going on with somebody. And somebody's learning about that. Let's see. What's told you so in defensive with can uh, for cancer? So yeah, I feel like somebody, they could be in like their pride and ego a little bit because you know how people do not like being told that they wrong about something. Hopefully that's not the case though. <laughs> Let's see. What's told you so with defensive for a cancer spirit? Okay. Six of swords in reverse. Okay. The ten of swords. And the nine of swords. Mm. Someone could have a Gemini Mars. Someone could be a Gemini Sun. Definitely go watch Gemini's reading. That reading was chaotic. Someone could have an Aquarius being, uh, Mercury. So a lot of air. In Gemini's reading, there's something coming out about a family's dynamic and curses, hexes, black magic. Okay. So the Six of Swords, yeah, I feel like somebody is having to stand their ground at this time or you're having to stand your ground here. Okay, with the Six of Swords in reverse, I feel like um, this could be trouble headed your way or trouble headed somebody's damn way. Whoever this is right here, there's a truth that's coming out about this person or about a specific like betrayal here. This also talks about slowly getting over something, slowly healing, slowly making progress. Okay, somebody's like stuck or they could have been stuck or trapped. I feel like someone also is trying to return to you. They're trying to come back. But for some of you, they could be trying to cause trouble. But we're going to see when all the cards come out. There's like nervousness. There's the ending of a situation. Something is done, is over with. The worst of a situation is over, but there's definitely um somebody here. They do too much. What else for cancer? The two of cups. Mm. Someone can have a cancer Venus. The devil, the three of pentacles. Yeah, the eight of swords. <laughs> somebody is trying to hex someone like i said and they're working with other people these people could be trying to come up with a plan to get themselves out of this bind because they asking ready to definitely feel this karma 
for sure, for trying to hex this connection or keep you two apart or something. There's love here. So I feel like this is you, Cancer. So you told this person something and they didn't believe you because maybe they didn't believe in this type of thing, but it's coming out as that was the truth. <clears throat> yeah, three of swords. So now they're heartbroken or well, whatever. Let's see. What else? Eight of Swords and the Justice. Mm. Ooh. <clears throat> With the Six of Swords in reverse, somebody is going to jail. Someone here could be trying to escape. Like, somebody could actually be on the run. They could be on the run spiritually. Or they could be on the run physically. Could be both. Depending on what they did. I don't know. It's different for everybody. Yeah, it could be spiritual with the high priestess. But yeah, and the magician. <laughs> they go into spiritual jail probably for doing all this magic. <clears throat> could be dealing with the Libra. Someone could have a Gemini Jupiter. A lot of Gemini here. So definitely go watch that reading. But uh, someone is trying to escape something. But they're stuck. They're stagnant. They don't have anywhere to go. They can't, they can't run from whatever this karma is right here. Because it's definitely coming. What goes up must come down. Something here is getting ready to balance out. There's truth and clarity here with the justice. Things being balanced. You know, what goes around comes around type of thing. Somebody could be going to jail. Like 3D jail with the eight of swords and the justice. I keep getting that. Somebody's like going to spiritual jail or they going to real jail. For some of you, it's real jail. There could be a, for some, for some of you, there could be an accident. You know, I mean, I, I'm hoping not, but there could be an accident here that's, that's coming and like, like say if somebody gets in an accident and the police has to come to, like you need a police report and things like that. Maybe your car gets totaled. For some of you, I hope that's not the case, but this could be for the people that did this hex or these curses or whatever the fuck this is. They could be getting into some sort of like accident and when the police checks their record or they could be a hit and run, I don't know. But when the police checks their record, they can have warrants and all kinds of shit. I don't know, it's something that's just gonna happen by uh, like naturally. I'm getting dizzy or something like that. I feel dizzy. Some of y'all, okay. I don't know why, but. Somebody's health could be fucked up right now. Somebody's really stressed. What, what else? <clears throat> the seven of pentacles. Yeah, somebody's stressing about what they invested in. Okay, or um, someone could have a Taurus Saturn. This talks about nurturing, growing, or something here. So somebody could be nervous about something potentially, potentially not growing, but it is. I feel like somebody's getting ready to harvest or reap the, the rewards of what they, the seeds that they planted here. Somebody could be stressed about money, a payout. Some sort of inheritance. This connection could be what's being inherited, right? This is the gift, the connection, because it could be very special. You could be twins. I don't know. But somebody could be stressed about money. Yeah, it's like it's like they're waiting for something. Or somebody's like at a crossroads with the seven of pentacles. Yeah, somebody could be waiting for trial. <laughs> the judgment with the six of wands. This could be trial and jury. Something is being made public or being seen by the public. Something could be ending up on the news here for some of you, Cancer, I ain't gonna lie. This is dramatic, what else? <laughs> for Cancer, okay, nine of wands, yeah. So you and this person have learned some sort of like lesson here. I feel like one lesson was harsher than the other, honey. <laughs> okay, cause maybe on both of y'all ends, there's been magic and things being done too. But, um. Someone could have a Sagittarius moon. So I'm getting lessons have been learned. Okay, there's a protective energy here when it comes down to this love between you and somebody. I feel like some, you're very close to reuniting with someone or, or coming into a connection with someone or growing a deeper bond with them or something. It's just keep fighting. You're very close. So you just need, yeah, the Ten of Cups. This is close, so you need to keep going, okay? Don't give up. Keep persevering. Keep working. Keep growing. Whatever. Okay, because this is about to come to a head here. Yeah, the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Wands. So you guys could be getting ready to start a family. 949 on the 
timer you guys could be getting ready to start a family with this person this is somebody that's you're fated to be with with ten of cups that's fate destiny definitely fated to have kids and start a family with them with the ace of wands and the ten of cups yeah the emperor yeah what's the six of swords in reverse both of you guys are very very wounded or beat up by this fucking whatever the shit is that somebody called themselves doing what's the six of swords in reverse Yeah, people think they're getting off scot-free, especially after they just set up here and did all this magic. Absolutely the fuck not. <laughs> Absolutely not. You could be dealing with a Leo here. So, yeah, somebody is having to stand their ground. Okay, put their foot down. This uh, King of, King of Wands is somebody that's assertive. They're very bold and courageous. Okay, and they go after what they're passionate about here. So somebody has is stepping in their power and they're standing their ground, being assertive. Okay, um, let's see. What's the Six of Swords with the King of Wands? Oh, excuse me. What's the King of Wands here with the Six of Swords? Oh, Six of Swords in reverse. Yeah, Will of Fortune. Yeah, things are changing for the better. This Six of Swords in reverse is just you standing your ground. I feel like... For some of you, this is your person that could be returning to. But the Wheel of Fortune is definitely things changing, okay? There could be some sudden changes or sudden upheaval. It could be chaotic here. Some of y'all might have to stand your ground against somebody because they're trying to come back with their fucking mental disorder and their fucking problems. And I don't know, they could be getting locked up, going to jail. They just feel, they just feel the effects of this shit backfiring on them. So they're projecting or they're upset. Yeah, Seven of Wands, you're going to have to stand your ground. I'm telling you, confirmation or, I don't know, block their ass or something. Because they, I feel like, this could just be energetically too. Like, they're trying to project. And I feel like you're going to have to transmute that energy, turn it into something else. <laughs> Make money off of it, do something. Yeah, I just saw the Five of Wands, Ten of Wands. So somebody is definitely, like, in a mood to fight or be petty or whatever. There's an event that's going to occur that's going to test you to stand your ground here, Cancer. Whether you're a man or woman, you're going to have to step into that masculine energy. And it's going to change the course of something. It's going to break a curse or break a cycle is what I'm getting to. It's like that one thing that you do. Because it could be that maybe this curse was to stop you from being able to speak up for yourself. It was to stop you from, um, you know what I'm saying, stand your ground, set boundaries. You could have been people pleasing or something. I don't know. But I feel like you're getting ready to stop that shit. So what's the Ten of Swords? Yeah, the Six of Cups in reverse, Scorpio energy, yeah. Yeah, it was something from your past here. Someone from your past. Six of Cups talks about growing up, maturing. So you, you're definitely leaving something behind here. You're letting go of the past, letting go of people from the past. This could also be you as well graduating like a, from therapy or counseling or an addiction that you had. I feel like you're releasing that. There was some sort of like rose tinted view of the past that you had about these people. What else with the Six of Cups in Reverse and the Ten of Swords? Yeah, Two of Pentacles in order to come back into balance. Mm. Yeah, so the worst is over for you. I feel like now, I feel like now is just time for you to be flexible, be adaptable here, and stay in the flow of things that's going on. All right. Um, definitely for some of you, you were dealing with somebody from your past that was juggling or while they were juggling they were also trying to keep you stuck too it's like they had somebody else so this could be what your person went through from their past right because everybody got a past story or whatever someone could have a capricorn jupiter somebody could have been they could have been doing something with you or your person's finances somebody could have been transferring money or trying to take money from you in a sense I don't know how they were trying to do that shit. This could have been a contract you guys were in, which is probably why you have to take them to court. Yeah, something about stability or money. What's this six of cups in reverse specifically? In reverse, yeah. The eight of wands. Yeah, so I feel like this is just you leaving this behind. Eight of Wands, yeah, the chariot. So that's just you, 
okay you could be like you could have communicated with somebody that you're moving or you're leaving this could be you traveling so you're definitely leaving someone is leaving or traveling or moving somewhere i don't know but it's fast it's sudden quick changes it's fast action i feel like whatever you're doing is is um bringing you into balance you could have had to move like money around so you can you know get out of dodge get the hell away from whatever this is yeah mm -mm -mm. let's see somebody here you could be leaving somebody else to juggle they're the ones that betrayed you so if they needed you i feel like they really gonna need you now because you're going to be gone <laughs> period yeah three of swords eight of pentacles you're leaving and you could be getting a new job in another place or this is your person but let's see what's the nine of swords There could be communication coming in here from somebody that has grown or matured, that has let go of a past situation, so that way they can bring something into balance with you. Some sort of betrayal is over. What's the Nine of Swords? The Strength card, Leo Energy. Yeah, and the Devil. There's fear here. I feel like somebody is nervous about this connection they're nervous about speaking to you yeah to give you this offer the devil with the, the knight of cups could be a capricorn or pisces so yeah i feel like um somebody is overcoming this nervousness or they're trying to overcome this nervousness or they're they're trying to get their confidence together i feel like this talks about inner strength too as well as like i say pride and ego because they they're fearing what you're going to say or how you're going to react to something or what they've been through, or what they've been, you know what I'm saying, dealing with. What's the nine of swords with the strength card? Okay, yeah, seven of wands with the death card. Yeah, somebody's going through an ego death. <laughs> They're going through an ego death because they've been proven wrong in the situation. So they, like I said in the beginning, they are trying to, they're going through the process of, they're, they're being pushed to heal, okay? And in things that no longer serve them here and transform, 17, 17 on the timer. Because they could be quite defensive. This is them being defensive <laughs> or something. For some of you, this is talking about you having courage and strength to um, push through your own fears, your own anxiety. And it could, be, could have something to do with leaving all this shit behind and starting a new life, starting fresh. You feel what I'm saying? Because you're going straight into abundance here. So it's like you have to transform too. You could be going through a transformation because things are like sudden, suddenly changing and it's taking a lot of courage for you to stand your ground or fight back or whatever, right? But I feel like this is this person too. They're going through some type of ego death right now. Yeah, they're, I feel like, you know, yeah, they're releasing. Yeah, whatever this drama is, the Hangman, Five of Wands, Page of Swords, or this is you. Someone could have a, a Leo Mars. Could be a Scorpio here. Mm -hmm. So you could be feeling a bit anxious or nervous, especially if this person is in your energy heavy. You could be feeling their, their energy, child. Lord, no, yeah. For some of you, this could be your twin, child. They they really just, they wear you out, man. <laughs> they really, wow. Yeah, thank you, confirmation. This is your twin, four of wands, the three of wands, the five of pentacles, the empress, and the emperor. For some of you, this person is coming to where you're at or something. They could be moving. But I feel like I feel like they're scared too about being left out in the cold or whatever. This could be them leaving something out in the cold or this is you. You could be waiting for this person kind of. Not really sitting here waiting because, I mean, the Empress don't wait. Obviously, you've grown. You've matured. So have they. So there is no sitting around waiting. I just feel like in the process, you know, you compartmentalize them in your mind. Like, yeah, I know that's my person, but I'm not going to sit around and wait. So I feel like you're living your life. You're working. I just feel like you feel left out by them. You feel left out in the cold. But I feel like what you don't see is somebody, this person coming towards your ass. Yeah, now the pentacles with an offer. They've moved or something. Yeah, the fool, new beginning, Aquarius energy. Yeah, with the page of pentacles. So let's see, what's the two of cups?
the higher thing. Yeah, a higher level of commitment. This is nice. And y'all know I always root for twins. So if you are a twin, honey, and you're doing the work and you know that this is this is you, your ass getting ready to be in union with your person. For some of you, if you're not a twin, it's a soulmate connection. You're moving on from a karmic and you're going to a soulmate connection that's going to be meant for you, possibly. But <clears throat> yeah, the hierophant with the two of cups is definitely a higher level of commitment, a sacred union, a sacred contract. Two people that love each other. So you love this person like they love you. You know? I feel like you guys are both able to now protect your union and do what you're supposed to do because somebody was not doing their part at first. And it, yeah, the emperor, it was because of all this shit, this magic and all this shit that's going on in their own life. <clears throat> but the hierophant is definitely, um, some of you guys, both of you guys or one of y'all could be a hierophant, a leader, could be a Taurus. Yeah, the, the lovers could be a Taurus here. Um, somebody is, a, this is a very spiritual connection, just put it that way. Spirit wants y'all two to be together. So it's happening. <laughs> it's going to happen to regardless. What's the Eight of Swords? Mm, the Chariot in Reverse. What's the Eight of Swords with the Chariot in Reverse? <laughs> Somebody is out of control, honey. They don't have no sense of direction. There's nowhere they could go, like I said. Whoever this is trying to escape or get away or play victim, it's like, no, you're going to be blocked until you decide to own up to your shit. Take accountability. Whoever the fuck this is. What's this Eight of Swords with the Chariot in Reverse? Could be a Cancer here doing this shit. Yeah, Four of Pentacles. For some of you, yeah, the Seven of Swords. Somebody's about to lose a hell of a lot of money. I feel like this is also your person too. They're scared. They're scared. I feel like because they don't know where they're going. And because they've had to give up a lot or let go of a lot or this is you. While we have Cancer and Capricorn, those are those are polarities. Those are opposites, right? I think. So somebody though, they get ready. Somebody getting ready to go to fucking jail for stealing. Somebody's a thief. For some of you, somebody stole from you or your person, and they ass going to jail right now. Like as we speak, somebody could be going to jail or spiritual jail. Yeah, look at this. Seven of Swords, Seven of Cups, and the Devil. Somebody was warned to stop doing this shit. It's this fucking third party. There's Archangel Michael here, King of Swords, or the, the law enforcement, or whatever this is, with the temperance to bring you and this person together, or to bring back somebody's fucking money, their inheritance, or whatever this is. It could be somebody just trying to steal your gifts and stop you from being able to make uh, healthy choices for your own life. It's like, what? <laughs> I don't know. What's the chariot in reverse? This is like not having a sense of direction or being forceful, kind of like aggressive as well. What's the chariot in reverse? Yeah, the seven of swords. Somebody's a thief. Seven of swords with the four of pentacles in reverse. They're a thief. Or like I said, they're a thief spiritually. One or the other. Somebody about to get karma. They don't even see this coming either because I feel like they sitting up here like cool, calm, and collected. Whoever, it could be a Leo. Whoever this is with the Six of Swords in Reverse, the Will of Fortune, and the King of, of Wands, they sitting up here cool. Like they ain't tripping, like they ain't going through shit, but something is coming. Trouble is headed this person's way, and this is spiritual jail or real jail, one or the other. Someone could have an Aquarius moon. What's the Four of Pentacles in Reverse? Somebody here could have a gambling problem too. I feel like they're spending, 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 or they living cool right now, but something's getting ready to happen that is going to knock this person like off their square what's the four of pentacles in reverse or they're gonna have to give up a home a car a lot of fucking money to the point where they ass gonna be broke what's the four of pentacles in reverse the fool yeah acting foolish doing stupid shit <laughs> i don't know for some of you this is your person they don't they're scared I feel like I feel, for some of you, I'm getting okay. I'm getting a lot of energy, right? This person here could be moving. Okay, they're moving, but they don't have no direction. They don't know what they're doing or how to do certain things because they've probably been in something that's codependent for a while. 
they just don't know what to do or how to do it, but they're going to take a risk anyway. They're going to have faith and take a leap of faith. Could be an Aquarius. Excuse me. Somebody could be on the Aquarius Capricorn cusp. But I feel like they're keeping their plans quiet. They could be making a big purchase. Somebody could be buying a new home, a new car. So their money is like they have to take money out, transfer it, do all that other shit in order to get to where they're going, in order to move. Yeah, two of wands. Okay, and I feel like they're getting ready to take a risk too to come towards you, but they just, they don't know how to do that shit. <clears throat> so they could be a bit nervous or scared. <clears throat> that could be what the blockage is. Them not being able to, uh, not not knowing how to approach you. Yeah, but they know you're their person. They do know that. What's, let's see, what's the Seven of Swords? Nine of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. Someone could have a Pisces, Jupiter. Yeah, so I feel like they're being quiet about what they're doing right now. Their plans are quiet. I feel like the blockage is just... I feel like the blockage is uh, the plan being mapped out. Like, things being orchestrated by the universe, Will of Fortune. <clears throat> so they could return to you. Okay. Somebody could be hiding a lot of money too. Somebody has gotten some money or something like that as well. Something that was stolen from them. I feel like they got it back through a court situation or that's what's going to happen. And so now they're making moves with this money. I feel like oh, for maybe some of you, do you have so much money or this person does? They don't even know what to do with it or how to manage it. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> I'm also getting <clears throat> someone right now is like they they don't want to be detected they're taking care of themselves right now somebody has pulled back their energy they're being selfish with their time their energy their space okay somebody could like just be pampering themselves self-care self-love nine of cups okay this is a wish here that's being granted too i just feel like they're being quiet about it right that's what i'm getting with this <clears throat> i'm getting i'm getting a mixture of energy it's your person or you Trying to like get back on track just in life in general with life in general and also a third party they ass going to jail. They ass is going to jail for being greedy. Nine of cups. Somebody is selfish or they wanted some type of fame or clout off of this person or you. And I feel like now they ass getting ready to go to fuck the spiritual jail. I don't know. Give me one more for the four of pentacles in reverse. Somebody is like greedy. And because of their greediness, they're going to jail. Yeah, king, king of pentacles in reverse. The judgment yeah something somebody's like like court and like this is trial by jury here i'm also getting something being resurrected between you and someone because they're homesick homesickness meaning they miss you do you feel like home to this person yeah ace of wands king of cups and the queen of cups <laughs> your divine counterpart there's a new passion to beginning here and there might have to be travel or somebody has to move to see you or something like that i don't goddamn know but Someone here had to make a big move. That's what I feel like, like mainly right here too. But I'm feeling both energies, so just don't get me started. I feel multiple energies, okay? <laughs> but I feel like somebody was blackmailed too. King of Cups is blackmail, it's extortion. I mean, King of Pentacles in reverse, sorry. Somebody had to release and make a sacrifice. They had to let go of something and they lost a home, a car, a lot of fucking money. I don't know. This person was stolen from, though. Whoever this was got something taken from them. They got something taken from them here, and they got it back. Because whoever this is, they ass going to have to pay it back. Or I don't know how it's working, but somebody has to go to jail or something. Somebody's going to fucking jail. Just period. <laughs> like, I don't know. It could be gifts. Yeah, it could be because the Page of Pentacles is like a divination. Somebody could be a tarot reader. I don't know. They have powers that they're learning about with the Page of Pentacles or studying about themselves. I don't know. Could be inherited gifts. It doesn't have to be money in the form of anything tangible, but somebody here could have lost a car too. Maybe someone had to sell a car. I don't know. Somebody could have stolen a car from someone or it's something. Something like that. But this person is is trusting their, their intuition and letting spirit guide them. I feel like something's going to turn out how it's supposed to be, but their faith has to be strong. And that's what's scaring this person. This person is scared as fuck. But things are going to turn around for the better. Or this is you. What's the justice? Page of Wands. Yeah, there could be something going on in court too. Yeah, about children. Definitely about a whole lot of fucking money. Or these gifts. Okay, spiritual court. <laughs> but 
the page of wands yeah something here is going to turn out good here there's like good news this is also the start of a, a passionate new beginning this is just uh, having an idea about what you want to do what you want to go towards maybe starting a new creative project feeling more inspired to get out there and make moves okay definitely traveling this could be some of you guys could be um remote you could you could work remote is what i just heard or you could um have to travel for a business or for a business travel or something like that with the page of wands but there's some good news coming in what's the page of wands this could be community definitely communication eight of wands page of wands something that's going to bring you back into balance or balance something out what's the page of wands to a <clears throat> to a swords in reverse something being revealed someone ha could have a libra moon yeah, your Ten of Cups. Whatever this Ten of Cups is for you. Aw, this is nice. This is nice. Here, something could be, re be revealed about your family or, like I said, children. But the Two of Swords in reverse is... um. It could talk about holding on to anxiety. So it could be. This person is definitely nervous. There's a lot of anxiety here. They nervous. But something's going to work out in their favor. Something's going to go well. This is you. Two of Swords in Reverse. If you're nervous about a court situation or whatever, I feel like you're going to be fine. Two of Swords in Reverse is all. What else is Two of Swords in Reverse? I'm trying to figure it out. Besides something being revealed, I feel like that that's just holding on to anxiety a little bit or f feeling a little bit still overwhelmed or stressed. But something is going to clear up for you. Something's going to clear up. That's what I'm getting. So, yeah, something has already been revealed in order for this justice to come in. I feel like somebody had to see something first before this could even happen. Because this is big. Whatever the fuck this is. A lot of karma. Will of Fortune with the justice. Ooh, and the death card and the strength. I mean, it's a lot of majors. But what's the seven of pentacles? Yeah, five of cups. Someone could have a Scorpio Mars with the seven of cups with the five of cups. And the knight of cups in reverse. Yeah, somebody here regrets revoking their offer from you. They regret taking their offer back. And they regret probably dealing with somebody that's fucking obsessive or something like that. But I feel like they're in regret. So as they're reviewing or evaluating, they're looking back at their past actions. They're reassessing with the seven of pentacles. Definitely, this is a nurturing period or I feel like someone is at a crossroads. They don't, they're scared to confront you. That's what this blockage is. Yeah, they, they kind of like in regret. they like a lot, actually. Okay. Because I feel like you've been patient with them or something you put a lot of time or effort or energy into this person they feel like they can't pay you back enough for what you did that's what i'm getting something is going to turn out right though but i feel like right here they're at the crossroads they don't know how to like approach you they don't want to confront you and they're going to have to that could be what they're going through right now yeah this ego death they're going to have to confront you about this information like they're just going to have to do it what's the five of cups what's the five of cups yeah three of pentacles in reverse yeah, they regret not putting in the effort, not working with you, not building with you, not taking your word. Told you so. <laughs> they regret not listening to you. They regret not being teachable or not learning from you. Because they would have been further in their career, their money, or whatever the fuck this is. That That's what's going on here. Yeah, something here failed. It just, it didn't work with whoever they involved themselves with whoever the third party was something i feel like they, they took a different path as far as their finances goes i don't feel like i feel like this person is somebody here they they have people that's close to them that they trust yeah but they got betrayed by these people and i feel like you know maybe they didn't know you like that i mean i feel like that's normal when you don't know people like that you don't like if you've been closer to somebody all your life and you just now meeting somebody it's like well who are you why should i trust you blah 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 I feel like, yeah, they were confused. Seven of Cups, they didn't know who you were. Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, King of Swords. Yeah, the Emperor, they didn't know who you were at the time. So they made a fucked up decision. They they, they, they were not thinking clear or something. But that's the same shit I got for um, 
Gemini where this person's intuition was blocked. They were stuck in a lot of depressive energy or anger or resentment. Or they could have been bitter about somebody they were dealing with. I don't know. But this Knight of Cups here. Let's see. What's the Knight of Cups in reverse? What's the Knight of Cups in reverse? Like this person they got a poker face you would never be able to tell that they even care <laughs> but they do yeah five of swords this person this person's intuition was blocked too though yeah they're just now becoming with the page of cups they're just now understanding who they are and how sensitive they are to energies and becoming more vulnerable they could be learning how to become more vulnerable with the page of cups but something they're they're learning how to listen to that inner voice their intuition yeah, with the two of wands. You could anticipate something or you could feel something coming towards you. It's this communication that's coming. Someone could have an Aquarius Venus. So there was there was some conflict here. Okay, yeah. Knight of Cups in reverse also as well as somebody that was causing trouble. Somebody has been causing trouble to your connection. That's ending. That's over. Okay, they defeated whatever this is. And it took a big risk because they had to... I feel like they lost a lot dealing with this person anyway but they really lost a lot having to leave and i feel like their circumstances kept them stuck because they maybe they had a little bit of money there but they ain't have as much as they would have if they would have left this person to fuck alone or whatever what's this knight of cups with this knight of cups in reverse with this five of swords somebody's like a bully or abusive or just very obsessive this person, they, they've been depressed. Okay, what's the Knight of Cups with the Five of Swords? Yeah, the Three, three of Swords, third party, yeah. It's, it's either an ex or somebody just <clears throat> around this person that they've known for a while, that they've trusted. That shit just fell apart because they can't trust this person. They see that this person has a fucking, they have a problem. So I feel like what they're doing is reviewing everything. They're looking back or really doing a lot of self-evaluation. They're questioning a lot of things. Or this is you. But. Mm -mm -mm. I feel like this is them. They revoked their offer too from a third party. That's been fucking abusing them. Or bullying them. Or whatever the fuck. They have to stand up and fight back against a third party. And keep this person blocked. Because they know it's just no good for them. Whatever the fuck this is. What's the nine of wands? Or this is you. Yeah. Knight of Wands. What's the Knight of Wands with the Knight of Wands? Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. Yep, self-mastery. Someone here could be a Virgo. You could be dealing with a Virgo. So I'm definitely getting a lot of work here, building up of a, a like confidence. Definitely somebody has gotten a new job or you're going to get a new job here. You're going to have to travel for work a lot or you are traveling to a new city to work, to work this new job here for some of you. But I'm definitely getting somebody here wants like commitment with you. It's right under the two of cups. They want commitment. They could just be younger than you. This person, they could work a lot though, but they could, they want to come like sweep you off your feet or something like that. But I feel like what they're doing right now is mastering themselves. They're um, really focused on their work. This could be building new skills, just focused on building. But the lessons are learned though. Nine of wands with the nine of wands upright. Yeah, somebody is wounded, but they came out a warrior. <laughs> They came out on top, so that's really all that fucking matters. Uh, especially when the situation is, you know, the situation ain't for your ass, you know, it's time to grow up. So I feel like, yeah, we went from the, yeah, the knight, knight of wands to the knight, I mean, the knight of wands to the king of wands. So somebody has grown up here. Somebody has grown up. I feel like they're a bit guarded right now, though. They, you know, you have to give them time. <laughs> You have to get their ass time. They're building, or this is you. But I feel like they're working on their non-committal energy too with the Knight of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, where they were non-committal or running around or doing whatever the fuck they were doing. They're they're building themselves back up to be a better man or woman. Period. So yeah, the Wheel of Fortune, these are like cycles of life. So somebody here, you could have met this person when they were just at a in a rough patch. I don't feel like they're a bad person at all, actually. Now, if they, they meant for you, I don't feel like they are. Yeah, a marriage will soon take place. I cannot make it up. It looks like it's going to happen between you and this person. Between you and them, it's just, you just have to wait. Okay, it's just taking time. Just like they got to do work, you do too. So let's see. It says, you are headed towards higher security in life, which will allow you to be able to establish a firm and solid foundation within your home life. Yep. 
that's what's happening. They're building. They're building again after losing so much or being stolen from or whatever. Or this is you. A troublesome situation will arise but not turn out as bad as you expect. <clears throat> oh, damn. Yeah, something they're going to have to have faith about whatever they're trying to do to get out of this troublesome situation. They think it's going to go bad, but it's not. They're going to be able to come back and redeem themselves from a big financial loss or they're going to be able to heal really well from dealing with the third party. I don't know. It says you may soon face an unexpected loss that will affect your finances and cause constraints. Plan ahead and budget for a rainy day. Yeah, it's this person that's like I said, they stayed in a situation because of their circumstances. They stayed in a situation because of their circumstances here. A time of expansion and strengthening your spiritual abilities is near. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this person or you, you're growing. I feel like twins, so if they're growing, you're doing the same thing. It says, you may be faced with an energy of upheaval. Understand that this is necessary in order to bring about a needed change in your life. It may feel undesirable, but you will soon get the bigger picture. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this person could have been doing something illegal, too. They were doing something illegal to make their money, dealing with the wrong people. For some of you, they could have went to jail. They could have actually got locked up, but they're out now or something. They could have, like I said, been blackmailed. They could have been set up or something like that. It says unexpected help will arrive from another. Yeah, justice in the page of wands. So something is coming to help you. Or your person, or this is you, that would be reaching out to this person to help them. I don't know. But some type of unexpected help is coming from another. Let's see. Yeah, there will soon be a transformation within a connection in your life. The soul bond you share will grow even deeper than before. And someone will reach out to you in the near future with an offer that will improve your finances. So yeah, the soul bond look like it's you. You and this person <laughs> helping each other. Like, I don't know. You scratch my back, I scratch yours type thing. Good news will soon find you, which will be followed by a life-changing opportunity of incredible growth, abundance, security, and stability. Yeah. So, so I feel like what they're going to do when this good news comes in, if this is you offering something or them coming towards you and it sparks up some sort of conversation, they're going to be looking and really observing with the seven of pentacles or you could have already for some of you you already tried to offer this person something but now they're looking back at the offer they want to take the offer i feel like yeah that's what i'm getting heavy they want to take the offer that you tried to offer them but they remember in the past that they turn it down so they don't know if you're going to take it if you if you are going to want them again or you want them to you know if you're going to accept their offer now you know what i mean but I feel like things are going to work out. They just, they got to do it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. Yeah, a woman is coming or will come in between you and your beloved. Yeah, it's a third party. Whoever the third party is that they trusted, child. They trusted this losing ass third party. And they fucking mishandled their money or set them up or something like that. I don't know. True colors of someone you are close to will soon be exposed. This may leave you feeling deceived. But having this revelation will prove to be useful in the long run. Yeah, a betrayal will come from an unexpected source. Yeah. Mm. So, <sighs> anywho, Cancer, uh, this was your reading, man. I hope that this resonated. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings. And I will talk to you all later. Bye.